Hey everyone, Sal here, and I have this crazy challenge, but it is a challenge that I really wanted to do. I want to buy a 5090, but with a catch. The catch is, I can't spend any of the money that I made while working or gifts. I have to make my money by selling and flipping computers. And that's why I'm starting this series, flipping computers until I buy a 5090. Before we get started though, I need you guys to hit that like and subscribe button because I am turning this into a whole series. There is no way I can buy an RTX 5090 after just selling one computer. So stick around and let's get into it. Hey guys, so I might be cheating a little bit because I'm, uh, I'm already using a computer that I already had and I'm just gonna list it and sell it. But in another episode, I will show how I find my parts and how I put my builds together into specific price categories so that I make sure that all the parts correlate with each other. I am currently taking pictures of the computer in different RGB light modes since it is already plugged in. Right after I finish taking these pictures, I will pick up the computer and move it to a better spot with a nice background and take professional looking pictures. So, the first part into selling a computer is taking really good pictures. And you don't really, you don't need a really good camera. I'm just using my phone for this one. But I've seen so many bad Facebook ads and offer of ads just because someone just took the picture and the computer was just on the bottom, like beside the desk with all the wires on top or they st stashed like a bunch of keyboards, mice, speakers and it just looks so messy. You don't want that. So the first part you need is just a clean setting, okay? And I'm copying the trend where everybody uses a plant to scale next to their computer. But you get the plant, you put the computer behind a clean, solid background, and then you take some shots with your phone or camera if you have one. Also, I'm kind of an idiot. When I was leaving the computer, I broke the antenna off the motherboard. So I guess we're just gonna have to play with one antenna. Okay, we are creating a new listing and the computer I have on my left is the last computer I actually sold. So I like to put at least what type of computer it is on the front and then the specific parts. So the last computer that I sold was built for 1080p and you can actually get high FPS while using it. And then we had an AMD Ryzen 5600 GT with an NVIDIA graphics card. For some reason, people love NVIDIA graphics cards. So if you are selling a computer with an NVIDIA graphics card, always say it in the title. And then I always list the RAM, the storage, if it has Wi-Fi and then the operating system like Windows 11, Windows 10, Linux, Mac. So for this listing here, I personally started with a video of me playing on it, but you don't have to do that. And honestly, it's kind of a lot of work. I was just experimenting with the format and most people that I asked said that they skipped the video and just went, they went straight to the pictures. So I start off with the close up here, more close ups, and then that computer specifically, I was selling a keyboard and a mouse. For this one here, I'm not gonna sell a keyboard and a mouse. And then I took some pictures again around it. And unfortunately, I did not take a picture of the backside because I was missing an IO shield. But yeah, but when I uh, met up with a guy, I just showed him that it didn't have the shield and he didn't care. Most people actually don't care about that, so. All right. Following this format that I made, we are going to be listing the computer I have over here. So, very good high quality picture. And I think this one could be it. Actually, we'll add a whole bunch and then we can rearrange them for later. So, I'm gonna add 
Well, I, t I took a picture with the RGB in single colors so that they can compare and see the green, purple, blue, red. If your computer has RGB and it's white, those two together is the magic formula to sell computers fast. People love white computers for some reason, and they love computers with RGB. So if it's big, white, and flashy, it sells a lot faster. 1440p high FPS, 1440p and 1080p high FPS gaming PC. 16 gigabytes of RAM and then Windows 11. Boom. This is the hardest part, okay? Personally, I've always sold computers around the five to 600 range and that range sells the fastest, but we are trying something new today. This computer could be sold potentially for, I would say 800 to $1,000. Now, let me show you real quick. Okay, look here. They're selling it for 1200 so I think I can list this for 800 easily on the lower end. It would be better to list this a little bit higher, but because we are using an older platform and it's a 12th gen i5, not the newest one, I think this is... They're on the 15th generation, which technically I know is not called the 15th gen Intel, but this one is three generations behind, so I'll lower the price a little bit. Um, 800 should be good, but let's go check real quick. So i5 12600K with a 3060 Ti goes for a thousand dollars with a 2060 it's 700. Honestly, to tell you the truth, 800 is a bit on the low end, but this is a used computer, so I have no warranties. I don't accept returns unless there's a game-breaking issue. 800 dollars, 800 dollars, I think is a it's not a bad price. This is the most expensive item I probably have ever sold on Facebook Marketplace. Now, the hardest part is also writing a good description. So I'm gonna copy the format here that I have and feel free guys to follow the format how I titled the computer and then how I wrote the description. With RX 7600 XT, 16 gigabytes paired with 500 watt power supply we're going to add the benchmarks here now this is an rx 7600 xt so all you have to do is just look up 7600 xt benchmarks okay they have the 12400f which is very video, very close to, to the 12600k the 12600k is a little bit faster but this is not bad here. So what I could, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna add the games that most people want to see anyway. Let's do. I got 120 average, 120 FPS. And I'm actually gonna link this video to the listing. Now, the computer is already listed. We have to play the waiting game, and my biggest tip here is don't give in to the first offer you get. A lot of the times, the initial offers, at least in my experience, are just low ball. I'll get like, okay, so I listed this computer for 800, so somebody might offer me $500 or $600. They might trade a Xbox Series X, which is only worth maybe 400 bucks. 500 of it was brand new. So don't sell to the first person. Play the waiting game, trust. After a week or two weeks, then I might lower the price, but I'll only lower the price by $50 and then maybe a hundred. But for this computer, if I had to lower the price, I would not go lower than $700. It's just not worth it. Next up, I'll take you along the ride as I meet up with strangers to sell this computer and how I choose safe locations so that I feel safe and the buyer feels safe. If you're excited and you wanna see the continuation of this series, Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.